Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today in this video, we will create a components and the modules in Angular and we will also install the UI library that we will use in our project. So let's get started. Before that, I am going to create a few packages that we will use in our Spring Boot application. So the packages are So these are the few packages that we will use in our upcoming videos. Let's go to our Angular application. So let's go to our terminal and here I'm going to create a module for the admin and the customer. So the command is ng g for generate m for module and the package that is a modules slash and here the module name that is admin and hyphen hyphen routing is equals to true. And you can see the modules package and here you can see the admin package under the modules and here you can see the two files that is the admin routing module.ts and the admin dot module.ts let's create a module for the customer let me add here customer let's click on enter and here you can see the customer package and you can see the two files of the customer module so in the admin module, I'm going to create a new folder that is our components. Let me open the terminal in this components package. And here I'm going to create a component for the admin that is a dashboard. So the command is ng g for generate c for component. And the component name it is the admin dashboard. And here you can see the admin dashboard component. I'm also creating a new package for the service. Let's open here the terminal. And here I'm going to write a command to create a service for the admin. So the command is ng g for generate as for service and name of the service that is admin. And here you can see the admin service and here you can see the admin dot service dot spec dot ts. Let me close this. We also need to create a service and the customer dashboard for the customer module. So let me add here a package that is a components and second one that is a service. So let me open in the terminal. So the command is ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is customer hyphen dashboard. And you can see component created successfully. Let me close this. And here I'm going to open terminal. And here we need to write command that is ng g for generate as for service and name of the service that is customer. And here you can see customer service created successfully. Let's create a service and the components for the sign up and the login. So in the app, I'm going to create a new folder that is the auth. In the auth, I'm going to create a new sub package that is a components. In the components package, I'm open here the integrated terminal. And here I'm going to write command that is ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a login. And you can see login component created successfully. Let's create a sign up component ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is sign up. And you can see sign up component created successfully. So let me close this. So you can see the login component and the sign up component over here so let me create a new sub package under the auth that is a services and the services package i'm open here the integrated terminal and here i'm going to write the one that is ng g for generate as a service and the sub package for the services that is auth slash out. 
and you can see the auth service let's create another service that is storage service let me add here package name that is a storage slash and you can see two services created successfully first one is auth and second one is a storage service Let me close the PowerShell. Let's install the UI library that we will use in our project. Let's go to our browser and here in the search that is ng0. And here you can see the official website of ng0. Let me click on this and get started. And let's copy this command that is ng add ng hyphen zero hyphen a n t t. Let's go to our Angular project and open here a new PowerShell. Paste in the command. So you can see the question that is, would you like to proceed? Let me select here, yes. So you can see the question that is, enable icon dynamic loading. So I'm selecting here, yes. And the setup custom theme file, selecting here, yes this one blank you can see ng0 ui installed successfully in our ml application let me close this let's go to our ui and you can see so that's all for now from my side. In the next video, we will start the proper implementation of the project. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can document and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.